It all started with a wrinkled tomato. In 2015, the European Patent Office granted a patent for a new variety of tomato that was ideal for making ketchup. It was obtained using only biological processes, so hadn't been genetically modified. The patent got instant backlash, with campaigners accusing the EPO of patenting life. The organisation then amended its policy, but the case went to the EPO's Board of Appeal. The debate is ongoing. The European Parliament is fighting to make sure that products obtained from biological processes aren't patentable. Barrierefreie Zugang zu Pflanzenmaterialien is the Grundvoraussetzung für die Innovationskraft der europäischen Pflanzenzüchter und unserer Landwirte, so wie für die genetische Vielfalt unserer Pflanzen. MEPs want farmers all across the European Union to be able to innovate, particularly in the face of the climate crisis. Breeding new types of plant promotes genetic diversity. Every year there's evolving new plant diseases and plagues and we need the development of new uh, food crops that are for example resilient to those uh, plant diseases and, and plagues and if we would allow patents yeah, that will hamper that innovation and that development so I think that's very risky for the whole world food supply. MEPs argue that small-scale producers are likely to be hardest hit by these patents. The Parliament also says that allowing companies to have patents on certain food varieties creates a monopoly, which in turn could raise food prices across the EU.